This is Nelson. Ask Captain Crane to come to my cabin. All right, sir. Sounds like the Admiral's open his sealed orders. Yeah, I'll see what he wants. Pull it for you. Mr. Morton, there's something you should know about. What is it? We're getting a red light on the ECS board. Now, what's wrong with our environmental control system? I'm not sure, sir. The problem seems to be in the missile. Could be a radiation leak, sir. You better check it out and report to me in person. All right, sir. Kowalski, you go with him. All right, sir. Grant. Sit down there. Whatever I tell you now is not to be repeated outside this cabin. Right? I understand. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea what we're carrying in missile silo number four? All I know is a top-level crew installed something there just before we sailed. Mm, that's all I knew until now. It's a live warhead. A neutron bomb. A neutron bomb? I didn't know they perfected those yet. Neither did I. But right now, we're sailing around with the most powerful destructive force ever developed. Thursday without fail. Well, that's more than 3,000 miles away. Oh, you better get a move on. Skipper, this is Morton. He's here with me, Chip. Go ahead. We've got a radiation leak in the missile room. One of our missiles is going wild. The one in silo four. Voyage to the bottom of the sea. Starring Richard Basehart. And David Hedison. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Sir, when I tried to open the inspection door, uh, this inspection door is sealed, which obviously means it's not to be tampered with. Sealed? Why, sir? Uh, a lot of questions I know about this new weaponry, but very few answers. Uh, Kowalski, do you think that you could uh, bring the counter over here? That's enough. Radiation's coming from inside the silo. Can't be repaired. Well, I can't even look for the trouble with a sealed inspection door. Certainly, certainly would not without a careful study. But where is that specialist in the Pentagon? I haven't seen him since we sailed. Jeff. Neither have I. Uh, this is Nelson. Will the Department of Defense specialist come to the missile room? Acknowledge. 
Department of Defense Specialist of the Missile Room, acknowledge. Chip, what quarters did you assign him? For number three on A deck. That's right, sir. I brought his personal gear there myself. Kowalski, go find him. Bring him here. All right, sir. Is that as dangerous as it sounds? Well, it shows every sign of going critical. Now, you two go up to the control room. I'm going to be certain we hold the course I set. Keep it busted. Right. Chief. Sir? Remember, this inspection door, sealed. Hmm? Aye, sir. Kowalski. Yes, Kowalski, have you located him? No, sir. I'm in cabin number three now. No sign of the technician except for his luggage. All right, Captain Crane is back in the control room. Report this to him. Tell him I want a search party to find that technician and get him here at once. Aye, aye, sir. Um, what's your name, sir? Jackson, sir. Hmm. All right, Jackson, report to the control room. Tell Captain Crane you're to join the search party. Aye, aye sir. Admiral, uh, what if uh, something happened to this guy? I mean, what if we can't locate him? It could cost the ship and every man aboard. Our orders are to hold in this course and proceed for Cook Atoll at full speed. We've got to be there by 0700 hours Thursday morning. Oh, it's drawing it pretty fine. No, we can do it, as long as we get this missile problem cleaned up. Excuse me, sir. But I can't find that technician anywhere. And the Admiral wants an immediate search party for him. Uh, very well, Ski. Uh, you take charge of the detail. Aye, aye, sir. What do you make of that? I don't know. Are you sure you saw him come aboard? Positive. circuits are blown. They'll all have to be rewired. Yes, sir, but what I'd like to know is what happened to those guys on the circuitry room watch? I've been asking myself the same question. Now, give me the name of every man that was supposed to be on this watch. I want a full report. Aye, sir. Skipper, what happened? How did we go out of control? I was just on my way to find out. Have you found that technician yet? No, sir. I've got the search party organized, and we're covering this section right now. I'll find him. That missile has to be neutralized. Hi, sir. Chief. Sir. What's the matter with the circuitry room gang? What took so long to fix that malfunction? Oh, they didn't fix it. The Admiral did. As a matter of fact, he's in there right now checking the lighting control circuits. Oh, very well. The station's supposed to be manned. 
Well, it wasn't. We'll get the chief checking on it now. What's happening on this ship, anyway? First, we can't find that technician, and now the whole circuitry watch walks off its post. Yeah, I think we better call a meeting of all the ship's officers in the war room. We've got to tell them how vital this mission is. Yeah. Right? I'll, I'll see you it right now. Good. Five degrees right rudder. Comes in one, I give it up. Wait a minute. stack of the whole control room crew's gone AWOL. Come on, you guys, on the ball. We got a lot of ground to cover. I said, come on. All right, you guys, come on. This is Kowalski. Skipper, do you read me? What is it, Kowalski? Skipper, you're gonna find this hard to believe, but I lost a search party. Tell them what we've lost. Uh, now look, Kowalski, exactly what happened? Well, I'm not sure, sir. They were following me down a corridor, and I went around the bend with them right behind me, but they never came around that bend. I turned back to look, and... Go on. Kowalski. Kowalski, do you hear me? Kowalski. Kowalski, do you hear me? Kowalski. Reactor room. Report. Reactor room. Bay, this is the captain. Doc, do you read me? Acknowledge. Attention all hands, this is the captain speaking. If anyone on board hears my voice, call the control room at once. If anyone on board hears my voice, call the control room at once. It's no use, obviously nobody is going to answer you. I'm afraid you're right. If this is impossible, an entire crew just doesn't vanish into thin air. Well, apparently, Chip, this one did. Or maybe they all gather together someplace aboard ship, a mass protest meeting of some kind. What? Not this crew, no chance. I know these guys. There isn't one man, not one, who wouldn't carry out any order you gave. Then where are they hiding? All right, all right, that's enough, both of you. That missile's trouble enough. Captain, I'd like permission to go over the ship from top to bottom. If there's a single guy goofing off someplace, I'll find him. That'd be a good idea. Very well, Chief. Now, keep in close touch with the control room. Let me know what you find, all right? Oh, yes. Sir. 
Well, fortunately, the automatic guidance system's working. Chip, I want a 180-degree course change. We're heading back to base. Wait, wait, believe that. We've got to go back. There's no other choice. We are staying on the course for Cook Atoll at full speed. Without a crew and a bomb that might explode at any minute? That's right. We're operating under sealed orders from the president himself. I'm going to read to this. The above orders are to be followed to the letter in spite of any or all contingencies. All subsequent orders will be disregarded until the mission is completed. And with that, gentlemen, I rest my case. It doesn't leave much room for argument, does it? None whatsoever. We accepted the mission, we carry it out. But we've got a neutron bomb in the missile room ready to explode. What will happen if you can't bring it under control? If it goes, we go too. Oh, but, sir, if Washington knew what might happen... You uh, heard the paragraph I just read. But under the circumstances, Admiral, how can you make any sense out of an order like that? Quite easily. As far as I'm concerned, the moment I broke the seal on those orders, the sea view and every man aboard became expendable. I'm going to the missile room to see what I can do. Sounds worse. It is. It is worse. Is there, a, is there any hope of stopping it? Uh, at this point, I couldn't even make a guess. I'm just, just wondering if I dare take the risk of breaking the seal on this door. Do you think that might trigger it? I don't know. That's, that's the whole point. I have absolutely no information on this weapon. Well, how many people do have the necessary information? Just a handful, and they're not about to pass it on to me, if that's what you're thinking. There's still one thing we can do. Fire the missile into the sea. Or up into the stratosphere. It'll explode safely. No, we can't. Here, come over here. It's on failsafe. The missile can be fired when the president presses the button, and not until then. Is there any way to reach him by radio? Tell him about the crew vanishing, and that warhead threatening to explode. My orders are explicit on that, too. We're to maintain complete radio silence. Those orders again. It's like a like a death sentence. It may turn out to be exactly that. I'm in the circuitry room. Somebody's been here and started the connections. I was just wondering if you... Admiral, do you read me? Admiral! Cruise quarters. If any of you guys... Cruise quarters reply. Cruise quarters! course, at least. Some comfort. If anything happens to our automatic equipment, we're dead. 
obstacles are there. have been some sort of short circuit. Whatever I saw through that window wasn't a short circuit. It must have been our imagination. It had to be. What about this empty control room? Is there imagination, too? No. Chip. We've got to face facts. We're in the midst of a pure nightmare. We've got to keep fighting, yet what are we fighting? What's the answer? How many of us are left? You, me? The Admiral? The Chief? Who's going to be next? Where is Sharky, anyway? He was supposed to keep in close touch. Uh, give him another few minutes. Maybe he hasn't found anything worth reporting yet. Let's hope that's all it is. Chief, I need your help. Come to the missile room on the double. Sharky, can you hear me? Chief, this is important. Answer. Admiral, this is Crane. I'm in the control room. Is the Chief with you? No. Chip and I are here alone. Well, where the devil is Sharky? Well, he's still searching the ship for those missing men. I need him here. I've decided to break the seal on the inspection door, and we're running out of time. I'll come down and give you a hand. All right, but hurry. All right, Chip, uh, can you take the car along? Well, there's nothing to do here but keep from disappearing. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll be back as soon as possible. Chief disappeared, too. Are you sure? I can't find him any more than I can find the others. And they just passed the crew's quarters. There's been a fight in there. What could have happened to him? I don't know. And I've stopped believing in what I see. Chip and I just spotted some kind of a, a nightmarish thing through the nose windows, and it turned out not to be there at all. If only we had time, time to think, time to track this thing down. Now give me a hand with the crowbar. <laughs> Look, Admiral, you probably know more about failsafe than anyone in the world. Isn't there some way we can bypass it? Well, of course, not to make the whole concept worthless. Well, the only thing we can do is try to deactivate this in time, and frankly, I doubt if it's possible. Same thing. 
Go ahead, Chip. What do you see? That is the answer. Chip. What do you see? Control room, acknowledge. Oh, what is it, Chip? What do you see? Chip Morton, too. That means there's... there's just the two of us. Hmm? Well, they say there's an explanation for everything, so there must be for this. But, but what? What? The control room's deserted now. If anything happens to that automatic equipment... I know. You better get back up there. Well, what do you think need me here? I'll let you know if I do. Now, go ahead. I don't know how long this will take. your help now. Do you read me? Come down to the missile room as fast as you can. Lee?
Thanks, I was down there. This is Nelson, reply. You're okay, sir. Yeah. How, how did I get out in this corridor? I don't know, sir. I just found you lying here in the deck. Hmm. And where have you been all this time? Me, sir? Well, I've been looking for somebody. Anybody. Till I came in you lying here, I thought I was the only one on board. <laughs> so did I. Well, at least there are two of us left. I need your help in the missile room. There's a warhead there that has to be disarmed. It could go off at any minute. What's happened to us, sir? Believe me, Kowalski, I wish I knew. Uh, uh, what was that? It came from this direction. Oh, I'm, I'm I glad to see you. What? What is this? Some 
a dream or some, some kind of nightmare or something. I wish it were as easily explained as that. What, what happened here? We thought maybe you could tell us. I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't seem to be able to remember. Sir, what's wrong with me? You know, we all seem to be on the same kind of fix, Chief. There's some kind of uh, strange force here. That... This is the exec in the control room. Can anyone on the ship hear my voice? If you can, answer immediately. That's well, Chip. Can anybody in the ship hear my voice? This is the exec in the control room. Chip, I hear you. Admiral, where are you? At the cruise quarter. I, I found the chief and Kowalski. They're here with me. Well, where were they? What happened to them? That's the same question they've been asking me. Where's the skipper? I haven't found him yet. Oh, now, what's your, what's your trouble? I'm getting a danger signal from one of the panels. Uh, I can't figure it out. Could you take a look at it? Oh, I haven't got time. I've got to get back to the missile room. This may have something to do with the missile down there. All right. All right. I'll come up and check it out. Hang on. All right, sir. like I was walking in a dream. Yeah, me too. That's well, happening to all of us. It's just another nightmare to our dark elixir. Well, we've got to help Morton. Well, who, who did you think we were? Well, not who, what? It, it, it was terrible, nightmarish. I, I, I must have gone completely out of my mind. Oh, you seem to have a lot of company. Now, come on, let's get up to the control room. What is it, Jim? The warning system light. Everything looks normal to me. Well, that's just it. Before I called you, sir, I was getting a definite alert signal. Right after that, it disappeared. That's the only part of what's been happening. I don't know how to say it, but I, I think I'm going over the deep end. Mm. Well, one way or another, it's happened to all of us, Jim. There's just no explaining it. I'm not so sure. I think I could take a pretty good stab at explaining it. 
Oh, excuse me, Admiral. Well, how could a whole crew disappear? They couldn't, Chief. Obviously. Yes, sir, but, but they did. All you have to do is look around the control room, sir. If they aren't here, where are they? Now, wait a minute. I think I know what you mean. We're seeing things that aren't really here. Uh-huh. Or vice versa. And uh, maybe that neutron bomb isn't even down there in the missile room. Well, I think that's the root of all of our problems. See, our trouble started when we detected a radiation leak. Now, I'm sure that there's a leakage of some kind of undetectable gas that has a psychedelic effect on the mind. There it is again, the warning light. Mm. Missile room, silo four. The warhead is definitely going to blow. How much time do we have? About two minutes. There must be a way to get rid of that missile, fail-safe or no fail-safe. Admiral, look! It's activated. We can fire. Is this done? Seems our mission was successful despite the malfunction. We reached the proper coordinates and the uh, missile exploded safely. Well, that's nice to know. Now, if they could only tell us what happened aboard Seaview. Well, they can. And they did. Oh? They were monitoring us by telemetry. They didn't know about the mass hallucination aboard, but they did spot the malfunction. That's why the president released the failsafe and allowed us to fire the missile before it exploded aboard. Now, I suppose the president had waited just a few seconds longer before he made his decision. Well, we wouldn't be here discussing it now, would we? Yeah, we live in a world of split-second decisions.